Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Super Mario Galaxy! I'm your host, The Reasonable Gamer, and we're going to head on to the kitchen, I do believe. And let's see if I can go, there we go, I'm going to head on to the kitchen. Oh, sorry if I sounded so terrible last time. I played it back and I thought I sounded okay, but I know how I felt when I was recording. Um... Sinus pressure all around, and you know, I was <laughs> actually pumped to play some Mario Galaxy, but you know, I just don't know if that expression showed through or if my miserableness came out instead. So, you know, I might just need an objective opinion to know that. Okay, Boulder Geist's Dear Double Run. This is the one I am not looking forward to. I think this is one of the hardest um, Dear Double Comets out there. So, uh, I don't, I don't expect much from myself. <laughs> uh, we'll do what we can. And yeah, we've seen Bouldergeist a while back. Basically, he's this big, huge rock type of baddie, and I just like to kind of go in a figure eight until these things start to fall and then try to get as close to them as I can before the last one falls and then boom that's what you gotta watch out for if they appear I just automatically just break them up because they'll get in your way alright and then here's another one three hits he'll break apart um, I get the star bits because I can why not you know and then try to get as close to him as you can before uh, you try to get a bamboo. And that's pretty much it. You gotta do one more time. And it's actually this part where it gets hard. We have the daredevil rules, so you can only get hit one time before it's game over here. Well, lose a lifetime, I should say, not game over. And, ooh, that was a close one. You want to try and hit the body because the hands will eventually respawn if you destroy one. So it's no point in trying to damage a hand or take out a hand. You really want to hit that body. Same strategy as before. Try to get as close as you can. Boom, boom. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, this is working out so good. Come here. Get close to him. Get close. Oh, he's juked me. Yes. Yes. I did it with one try. Yes. That was awesome. <laughs> okay. So, one of the scariest Deer Devil runs is gone. Here's the part I'm worried about, right? I uh, tell everybody, oh, this part's going to be super hard. Oh, a lot of failure. Oh, oh, oh. Turns out to be not too bad. And then the next one I go to, I'm going to fail all over the place. <laughs> Just like the, uh, the Loop de Soup Galaxy. I didn't do too bad on that one. But then when it came to the Rolling Gizmo Galaxy, oh man, there was just all kinds of failure there. You know, just avoid the bombs. Avoid the bombs. Avoid the bombs. Avoid the bombs. Blech. All right, so... Um, I gotta go talk to the Luma and move the comets around. So I'm gonna meet you back in the kitchen, all right? All right, I'm back. Now that we have our comet moved into place, we have also a new comet. This is the Fast Foe Comet. This does exactly what it says it does. It takes all of the enemies in the level and makes them move faster. Doo -doo, fast Foe Comet! Alright, it kind of looked orangey there, but on the you know, galaxy choosing screen it looked yellow. So you kind of get an orangish yellow tint to the uh, galaxy as well. And there it is. And I think it actually looks cool in this one. You know, this one or the um, uh, the Cosmic Clone would have been a good one, too. Alright. I don't think this is too hard. Um, there's no rush on you. I mean, you don't, you don't have, like, a time limit or you don't have, like, a Cosmic Clone or anything going and chasing you around. Most of the things that can hit you here are, like, a one-hit thing, so... Um, it is kind of like the Daredevil run as well. <laughs> but I, I don't think it's too bad. Watch out for these smusher things because they'll smush you off of where you, you know, 
your platform that you're on, and you're not going to want that. Alright, this thing, I just kind of run and chase it until I can go the opposite direction. Ta-da! Not that hard. Not that hard. Alright. So, how's everybody doing? Is there Christmas breaks and going on and all that good stuff? I, you know, I don't know what, what's happening. Oh, 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 I just got smooshed. I got smooshed. All right, I could cut over there, but you know, this isn't too bad and whatever. But when you lose out of comet, it gives you the chance to return to the observatory right away. So that's kind of cool. All right. So, so far, <laughs> Boltergeist, I died. Not at all. Easier Comet, smushed already. Um, as you can see by this thing's pattern, you gotta kinda long jump it here. So, that, I recommend doing that anyway, it's not too bad. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh. Okay, I'll do one more time and then maybe I'll start cutting, okay? Because that was just, ugh. I shouldn't even count. I started talking about Christmas breaks and winter breaks, I'm sorry, winter breaks. And, um, you know, I just went downhill from there. Ooh, I wonder if that's some sort of weird sign. Yikes. I'm kind of excited for it, for winter break and whatever. Um, for the holiday, my son is getting the Skylander Giants game. Shh. <laughs> so, you know, I'll, I'll be able to play that. That'll be pretty cool. I'm excited to try that out. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to get. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to get some more Wii U titles. But I also have to start thinking of my new, ne my other next play I'm going to do. Cause this one's almost over. Um, Skylander Spyro Adventure's almost over. I mean, what the heck, man? Right? What the heck? I gotta, I gotta start thinking, start planning things out. All right, where are we at here? Yeah, this is where I lost last time. I'm just gonna right here park it. There we go. And I, I remember saying something about this. They will not come and get you on this square with the question mark block, so you're safe there. Okay. Let's see if we can do a shortcut. Just long jump it. Oh! Yeah, I just squeaked out of there. Oh yeah. Um I have a couple ideas what my next let's play was gonna be. So I'm probably gonna go back to another 16-bit game because frankly. I love the 16-bit era. There's a lot of good games in there. And there's a lot of them that I don't see on YouTube. So, um, or they're very sparse. And I, I hope to change that because some of them are really, really good. And it's like, wow, how come you guys aren't playing these games? And I just, you know, maybe they've never heard of them. Or I don't, I don't know. Maybe they're too hard. Maybe there's so many... You know, next-gen gamers that are, the old-timers are getting forgotten about. So, um, but I think that's the end of this video. So, next time we're gonna go. I believe we're gonna go and take it to the bedroom. Ooh. So until then, bye.